Okay, so I wanted to talk about the two modes that you can get on throttle control on a switch kit. Uh, and one of my early videos, uh, when I'd first th fit the throttle control and didn't really know much about the computer on it and, and what it could do, uh, the throttle control was governed by the actual kit. So if you had it on pedal assist one and you put the throttle to max, you'd go about four miles an hour. Uh, if you put it all the way up to nine, it would go up to about 19 and a half, 20 miles an hour. So it was governed by whatever setting this was on. Now that was fine and that was how I thought it was gonna work and that's how things were going on. But then I, at some point I must have reset my kit and the throttle control changed. Uh, and the new mode on the throttle control and the one that I'd left it on up until yesterday is uh, if it's on pedal assist zero, the throttle control, uh, if you put it to max, it will take you up to 19 and a half miles an hour. Whatever this is on, uh, it's ignored by the throttle control. So the throttle control mode that I've been using is uh, the more you push it up, the more throttle you get. So if you're going like this, halfway would be uh, maybe half speed, 10 miles an hour, maximum would be 19 and a half. But because it's quite a fine control and there's no indication on the, on the throttle itself as to how much power it's using, you could end up, uh, when you're going up a hill, putting it to max and, and basically making the battery work harder than it should. So I think I'm going to switch back and I'm going to try this on the pedal assist controlled mode. So the way to do that, if your switch kit is off, turn it on, press and hold the circle button, press and hold plus and minus, press and hold plus and minus again, press the plus until you get to HND, press the circle button, press the circle button again and you want HF and you want it to say yes. If you want to change that value, go up or down, uh, but I want it to say yes, so I press and hold, and then that's stored. So now, the mode I've got it on is that whatever the pedal assist sensor is on, that governs the amount of, uh, of speed that the throttle control is going to go to. So what it means is if you're pedaling along and you're going along at 10 miles an hour, and you've got it set to maybe 3 or 4, because the pedal assist is going to be less aggressive at trying to get you there and it's going to cut out when it goes past a certain speed, you're going to use less battery life. But I'll do a test on the road to show you what happens. Okay, so first test, I'm on pedal assist 4. Let's put the throttle on max. So I'm doing what 11.3, 11.4, but you can see the watts power has gone to zero, and that's because I've exceeded the speed. So basically, it's going to use less power. So let's go back and do that same thing again. So it tries to use all the power, 257 watts, it's now down to 135, uh, and it will carry along at this speed and it will cut out and it will cut back in if I dip below that speed. Let's just do it on pedal assist one, just to show. So this is purely throttle now. So it's not cut in yet because I'm, I'm rolling at 5.7. Okay, looks like it doesn't. <laughs> So it's not cutting in at all. So I've got the throttle on max. It's not cutting in at all because I'm doing more than the, what's it, four miles an hour or something like that. So if I brake, how slow do I have to go? Yeah, okay, so, two, so one isn't really an option. So if we try it on two. So I'll put on the throttle now. Oh, here we go. So it uses, Bit of power to get me up there, 98, 76, 49. But you can see that it's keeping me around about six miles an hour, just going along the flat uh, and using very little wattage. So we'll say, oh, six miles an hour isn't fast enough, so we'll pop it up to pedal assist three. And you can hear it pick up, you can see it go right up to 197 watts, but then it goes back down because it doesn't need as much power to sustain it. And I'm not pedaling at all. So now if I, let's just remember if I can switch it back because I haven't got my sheet with me, so plus and minus, 
plus and minus, uh, plus circle, uh, no, circle. So, so now it's on no. So basically now my throttle control is max all the time. So if I, and I can control, I can vary it because it's analog. So let's switch that off and switch it on again. So throttle control on now. So you can see straight away. So it basically doesn't let up. So it, it will stay until it gets to the desired speed, which is in the case of my kit is 19 and a half miles an hour. Uh, it's it's going to use maximum wattage, uh, and so it's basically all it, its job is to get you there. So really, depending on how you want to use it, if you want it as a quick boost and you want all the power, uh, but I think that you're better off with the other method uh, because if you put it on, if you're going up a hill and you want a bit of power, if you're only going 10, 12 miles an hour, pick a pick a pedal assist mode that matches that, uh, and you'll find that it will be much better on battery because it's as soon as you hit that speed uh, it's going to then lay off a bit and it's going to use less wattage to keep you going whereas on the throttle mode where the throttle goes to max uh, whatever you're doing going up that hill if you're not doing 19 and a half miles an hour it's using maximum power and it doesn't need to okay so i hope this helps thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe